everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, wake up. It's time to compete. Good morning, Mike. What are we going to build? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build Thomas vs. Choo Choo Charles today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, Mikey and I are going to build Thomas vs. Choo Choo Charles. We will have one round in total. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Mason build. Hello again, dear friends. Today's competition is being opened by me, Mikey. We talked to JJ before the start of our competition and decided that I would build Thomas and JJ in turn would build Choo Choo Charles. Well, it seems to me that there will be nothing difficult in my construction today because I will have to build Thomas. I've already built various variations of the Thomas monster many times before, but here I need to build the same thing, only without the scary details. That's all. Therefore, it seems to me that the construction today will be quite simple and fast. Personally, it seems to me that it is much easier for me to win today than JJ. Friends, tell me, do you like this cute cartoon about Thomas and his friends? This is a pretty famous cartoon, so each of you knows about it. In general, the story of this cartoon takes place in the mid-1940s, 1950s on the fictional British island of Sodor located in the Irish Sea, between the Isle of Man and the United Kingdom, where all cars are living creatures. There are several railways on the island where steam locomotives live and work. Each of them has their own responsibilities on a certain section of the railway, and everyone tries to do their job exceptionally well. The main character is a small blue tank locomotive, Thomas, who, because of his restless nature, often gets into trouble, but never gets discouraged and always tries to correct his mistakes, becoming a really useful steam locomotive. In general, Thomas the locomotive is very kind and good, and he always tries to help everyone around him. That's why we all love him very much. Personally, I even watched all the episodes of this wonderful cartoon. Dear guys, which train do you like the most? It's just that there are a lot of different trains in this cartoon, and they're all different too. They have different personalities and different tastes. I only know the most famous of them. Guys, let's play a little bit. I'm going to show you some locomotives, and your task will be to guess which of these locomotives looks the most like Thomas. Are you ready? Good, then I'm starting. Now I'll show you some pictures of steam locomotives. This is the Thomas train. For those who don't know, now get ready to choose the one that looks like it. It's James. It's Gordon. It's Percy. It's Emily. It's Toby. It's Henry. It's Edward. Well, guys, which of these locomotives looks the most like Thomas? I'm giving you three seconds. You need to answer. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> And I congratulate everyone who guessed right because the train that looks most like Thomas is Edward. Friends, just look at this. Edward is really hard to distinguish from the Thomas steam train. I wonder why he looks so much like him, okay? It's not that important anymore. More importantly, tell me friends, which of these trains do you like the most? What, I can't hear you? Okay, okay, write in the comments, what kind of train is your favorite? But it seems to me that it will be very difficult to choose one character from such a huge number but I'm sure you can handle it. Once JJ and I were traveling, and I asked JJ, tell me, JJ, what do you like most about traveling? I thought JJ would give me some kind of precise answer to this question, but he answered me like this. You know, Mikey, I don't have to like one thing. You know, I didn't immediately understand what he meant, so I clarified. What do you mean, JJ? And his answer just amazed me. I don't like anything specific about our travels. I like our research, I like our battles, and just have a nice time with you. So I can't choose one thing, Mikey. And at that moment, I realized that we don't have to like just one thing. Therefore, if you have several favorite characters, then feel free to write them all in the comments. I will be very glad to see them. And I also think it's time for me to finish this construction because my Thomas is already ready. I wonder what JJ is doing there. Maze and build. 
So, it's my turn to build. Mikey and I talked before the start and decided that I would be the one to build Choo Choo Charles. I will need blocks of concrete, quartz, and glass. Friends, tell me, do you even know who this Choo Choo Charles is? If you thought it was just an evil train, then of course you're right. But the story of this creature is much longer and scarier than you think. It just so happens that you all know Thomas the Steam Train, right? Do you know Thomas the Steam Train? Well, I'm glad you've heard all about him. One day, the monster Choo Choo Charles appeared in this world. Originally, this monster was not evil. He wandered around the world and tried to talk to everyone, but his voice was very low and rude. He sounded like he was growling, some kind of huge creature, or just creaking a broken locomotive. Also, Choo Choo Charles looked pretty creepy. He had huge fangs, as well as very creepy, hairy, spidery paws. No wonder that with such an appearance, everyone around him was scared of him. One day, Choo Choo Charles saw Thomas's steam train passing by in the distance. And Choo Choo Charles was very happy. He wanted to talk to Thomas as soon as possible because he looked almost the same as himself. He finally thought he could find friends. And that's why he went very quickly after Thomas the locomotive. For the first time since the beginning of his life, Choo Choo Charles thought that now he would not be alone. He thought that since Thomas is also a steam locomotive, then no matter how Choo Choo Charles looks, Thomas the steam locomotive will accept him and they can become friends. That's what Choo Choo Charles was thinking. He believed that he would finally have his very first friend. And he ran after Thomas. But here's what happened next. You'll never guess. As you know, Thomas the Locomotive is a kind character who is always ready to help and get someone out of a difficult situation. This is exactly the kind of help Choo Choo Charles needed. But when Choo Choo Charles was able to catch up with Thomas, something happened that no one expected. Thomas said, Ugh, who are you? How disgusting you look. Choo Choo. Charles stopped and said, I'm just like you. Look, I can do Choo Choo too. But Thomas refused to accept it. You're terrible. You don't look like a good little train like me. Get out of here quickly. And Choo Choo Charles was very scared. He was upset and very offended by Thomas because even if a locomotive like him cannot accept him, then what should he do in this world? Why then, and why did Choo Choo Charles appear? While he was thinking about it, he got very angry and decided that since he couldn't be kind and since the kind characters didn't accept him, then he would become evil. No, not just evil, but the most evil train in this world. And he decided to take revenge on Thomas. He hunted him down, bared his fangs and claws, and took revenge on him. He broke up his carriage, tore off the wheels, and dragged Thomas out of his house. And then he asked, Do you like me now, Thomas? Do you think Choo Choo Charles did the right thing or not? What would you do if you were Thomas? That's how Choo Choo Charles became the most evil steam train in the world. That's why I want to tell you, friends, it doesn't matter who or what they look like, never offend anyone. After all, even if someone doesn't look like you, it doesn't mean that they are bad. Inside, he has the same gentle personality as you. And I've already finished building my Choo Choo Charles. It's just great. I wonder how Mikey doing. Wow, Mikey, you've got a great Thomas that looks just like the real thing. It's just a great job. Everything inside is also quite interesting and coolly equipped. You did a great job. I praise you. Thanks, JJ. I'm glad you liked it, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Then hurry up and run after me, Mikey, and you'll see for yourself. Wow, JJ, it's just a great job. You've got such a creepy and realistic choo-choo, Charles. I'm already afraid to approach him. I should probably see what you've built inside, too. Then let's go and see, Mikey. Wow, JJ, you have a great choo-choo, Charles. It's so beautiful and cozy inside. Some subscribers may even move in here. Thanks, Mikey. I'm glad you liked my choo-choo, Charles. But I'm a little tired. I think we can end this for today. Friends, be sure to write in the comments who won. My choo-choo, Charles, or Thomas Mikey. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you.
Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye. <gasps>、oh, everyone, dear friends, the weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Good morning, JJ. A good day for the competition. Do you really think so? I have just a great idea, JJ. Today we will build a cartoon cat vs. smile room. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today, Mikey and I are going to build Cartoon Cat vs. Smile Room. We will have one round in total. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. Hello, everyone. We talked with JJ and decided that I would build Cartoon Cat and JJ would build House Head. I'm starting to build. Friends, tell me, do you know who Cartoon Cat is? In fact, this creature has quite an interesting story. Let me tell you a part of it. Cartoon Cat is an urban legend created by Canadian horror artist Trevor Henderson. He is a giant feline creature that resembles a cartoon cat from the 1930 era, hence his name, Cartoon Cat. He is one of the main antagonists of the myths about Trevor Henderson. Cartoon Cat is a nightmarish creature with a twisted take on the classic cartoon aesthetic. He has a large black head, resembling an old school cartoon cat. But his features are grotesquely distorted. The eyes are huge, luminous, and hollow, which gives them an exciting expression. The mouth is an exaggerated wide grin filled with rows of sharp, jagged teeth, and when opened, it exposes an inner mouth of glowing red orange light, enhancing its terrifying appearance. Pointed cat ears protrude from the top of the head, maintaining a cartoonish but creepy silhouette. Cartoon Cat's body is humanoid, but it is covered with pitch black fur, which organically combines with darkness. He is tall and slender, with disproportionately long arms and fingers, which enhances his menacing posture. The cartoon cat often appears hunched or distorted, which contributes to its predatory and otherworldly behavior. The creature exudes an aura of malice, combining the innocence of old school animation with the horror of a malicious entity. He emerges from the shadows, his form shifting and merging with the darkness, ready to strike fear into anyone who encounters him. JJ, have you met Cartoon Cat? Oh, that's Mikey's creepy story. Cartoon Cat is a real devil. But I'm not afraid of him. But you shouldn't have done that. Cartoon Cat has many abilities that reinforce its reputation among all other monsters as a very dangerous creature. It is implied that he has shape shifting abilities, like typical 30s cartoons with rubber hoses capable of changing his size and length, presence and absence of limbs, as he is malleable, as Trevor claims. Again, this makes him very dangerous even to other creatures, as he is able to defy the laws of physics like a cartoon, making him stronger than most other monsters. On Twitter, Trevor said that Cartoon Cat's anatomy is changing a lot by design. When asked if Cartoon Cat is an ever changing blob, Trevor replied that he is in some ways, but he has more control over his body than this description would suggest. Cartoon Cat is so dangerous and aggressive that even other monsters are afraid of him, avoiding his lair if they know what's good for them. Trevor has stated several times that Cartoon Cat is not the only cartoon monster, and he has given contradictory information about some Cartoon Cat photos, sometimes claiming it is Cartoon Cat, and sometimes claiming it is another cartoon entity. It is likely that Trevor is deliberately vague in order to keep the secret of his work. That's the story of the creepy Cartoon Cat monster. But it is better to keep this information secret, otherwise, he may come to visit you. To be honest, friends, I've never met this monster, but JJ says it's one of the most dangerous creatures. I don't understand him because we recently built Behemoth, and as for me, this Titan is much more dangerous than any cartoon cat. Listen, Mikey, don't underestimate Cartoon Cat. JJ, but we killed a bunch of different monsters. Different, but not this one. In general, as far as I understand, JJ is afraid of this cartoon cat. Friends, write in the comments. Would you be scared if you met a cartoon cat on the street? For example, I'm not afraid of him at all. After all, it's just a cat with sharp teeth and that's it. On the contrary, I would like to stroke him. So write in the comments. Let's see how many fearless warriors we are. By the way, surprisingly, I'm building my cartoon cat with just a few blocks. I use blocks of coal, as you guessed it. I also use quartz blocks, red concrete blocks, and glowing white blocks. Great! I finished building my huge cartoon cat. Friends, how is the construction at the JJ going? 
Meanwhile, so it's my turn to build, friends. I'm going to build a smile room. That's what Mikey and I agreed before we started. I take blocks of concrete, quartz, as well as blocks of glass and iron. I'm starting construction. Friends, we have already decided and decided that I will build a smile room. But tell me, have any of you ever thought about who the smile room is? And where did he come from? It goes without saying that the smile room is the creation of Trevor Henderson, but what is the story of this monster? And what is it scary about? In fact, the answer is much simpler than you can imagine. But before I tell you everything, let's put a like on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, like it. Great, you are great fellows, my friends. Now we continue. Two teenagers have gone missing after entering the Heavenly Entertainment World Bowling Club in Oshawa, Ontario. While searching for a friend of a friend, they found a cell phone and called the police after finding this photo. According to the results of the investigation, the smiling room is not part of the building. From this, we can understand that the smile room is not some kind of separate monster that came into an empty room and occupied it. That is, it is a separate creature that could pretend to be a room. It's just creepy. But then I, and maybe some of you, have a question. And how does she do it? What kind of monster is this anyway? Can he then pretend to be a kettle or a toaster oven? What if he becomes a refrigerator and eats someone who decides to just have a snack late at night? Brrr. Just thinking about it makes it scary to go to the refrigerator. In fact, this chandelier has a width of about 2 meters and a height of 7 meters. It's just a door leading to the giant teeth of death. But this monster is not as easy to hunt as you think. If you think that you will just walk up to the door, open it. See smiling teeth there and be able to quickly escape. You are mistaken. It will suddenly appear when a person moves, entering the doorway and cannot stop, which leads to him being devoured by the owner of the smiling room. It will also appear when a person opens the door if they don't want him to leave. If someone turns out to be naive enough to enter it right away, they will be eaten. Once this is done, it will turn into nothing but air. Do you understand? The essence of the monster is to eat and evaporate. How is it? I don't understand how a monster can just disappear. Could it be that a monster would just appear next to me and eat me? Can Smile Room teleport? Or is the essence of this monster just to pretend to be a room and deceive someone? This is a very strange as well as a creepy monster. There are several interesting facts about this monster and here are some of them. She will only appear with those who are depressed or sad. Certain species can turn a victim into one of them when they are devoured. According to some photos, a smiling room can appear in the corridors, not just outside the door. He may be trying to make people happy, and maybe that's why it says smile. As for me, it's creepy and even too much. To be honest, it seems to me that Smile Room has a lot more abilities than everyone says. Well, it's time to get back to the construction site and put the furniture in my creepy but beautiful Smile Room. I put a dressing table on the ground floor. I put anvils in the corners and decorate them with foliage. Here I put up the armor racks and immediately put on my armor. I put a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp on the table. I also put cabinets, as well as shelves for clothes and shoes. I put dressers on different sides. I'm putting bookshelves on the top floor, as well as an enchantment table, because I'm going to have an enchantment room here. I put the boiler in the back and pour water. Great! My smile room house is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Wow, Mikey! You've got just a great cartoon cat. He looks quite sinister, and at the same time, very similar to the real one. Now show me how you built inside. Wow, it's also very nice inside. There is everything you need to live here. Just a great job, Mikey. Thanks, JJ, but I'm just looking forward to seeing what you've built. Then run ahead and see for yourself, Mikey. Wow, JJ, this is just a great job. What a huge and magnificent smile room you have turned out to be. It's obvious how hard you tried. What's inside? It's just great. It's so cozy inside your smile room that you can't even tell it's a monster. I really like it. Thanks, Mikey. I'm glad you like my smile room, but I'm so tired that I think it's time for us to finish. Friends, write in the comments, which of us won, me or Mikey? Don't forget that you are the judges of this show. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you.
Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye.